and starvation diets really make you thinner. Today, we're going to shed some light on the so-called starvation diet to see if it's helpful for us who work hard in getting in shape. Let's first define starvation diet. In nutrition, our bodies go into starvation mode when we're not getting enough calories. The body adapts to the state in order to preserve life and will start to rely on fat cells for energy, thus leading to weight loss. That said, the starvation diet, also known as the very low calorie diet, follows one well-known nutrition fact, and that is calories in, calories out. Which simply means that if you eat less than what your body needs, you won't put on fat, but if you eat more, then you'll gain fat. However, the starvation diet takes this to the extreme. In dieting, it's important to know that there is healthy weight loss and there's unhealthy weight loss. We first need to answer a few questions on how the diet relates to good health and safe weight loss. Do we really need a very low calorie diet in order to lose weight fast? And are we getting enough essential nutrients daily with this diet? If you are considering this diet, here's what to watch out for. Based on many studies, during starvation mode, the human body adjusts metabolism in order to conserve calories. This is the opposite of what we want if we're aiming for healthy weight loss. This effect on the metabolism can leave you feeling hungry, lazy, and moody all the time. This in turn can affect you mentally, due to the deprivation and the guilt it brings when you eat more than you should. In addition, this change in metabolism can also throw off the delicate rhythm of the body's hunger and satiety signals. Healthy weight loss lies on a healthy metabolism, so making your metabolism adjust your eating habits isn't sustainable. So if you're thinking of going on a diet to speed up your weight loss progress, up to boost your metabolism and not slow it down. Another thing is, it's not just the calories that we should be counting. Essential nutrients need to be considered too. When you restrict food too much, your body might not get enough vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients it needs to function daily. The body needs them to maintain proper functioning such as burning fat, so if you neglect that aspect, your weight loss progress may also be affected. Eating too little can also deprive your body of protein and when that happens, you'll start losing muscle mass. Your weight will go down, but it wouldn't be because of fat loss. This effect can further slow down the metabolism, especially if you're not exercising and toning your muscles. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video so far, give us a like, subscribe to our channel for more health-related videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time we upload a video. So is being too calorie conscious bad? It could be, but if you can eat a low-calorie diet without starving yourself. Instead of eating too little, eat plenty of low-calorie foods that are rich in vitamins and minerals, such as plant-based foods. Allow yourself to feel satiated, neither starving nor overfed. This will keep you from starving all the time and will prevent your energy levels from dropping. Eating less calories than you need indeed leads to weight loss, but you don't have to eat too little or stop yourself from being satisfied with your meals. Eat balanced meals and stay physically active so your metabolism will be healthy and you'll be in great shape. Meanwhile, there's another well-known technique called intermittent fasting. It's important to know that intermittent fasting is not the same as the starvation diet. Fasting isn't concerned with restricting calories and certain types of food. The goal with fasting is to eat all of your meals within a certain time window in a day. This is better for the metabolism because the body will still get all the nourishment it needs while allowing the metabolism to work during the time window when you're not eating. You'll still get your needed calories and nutrients and you'll enjoy your food like you normally do. In turn, you won't lose muscle mass and you'll stay healthy mentally and physically. And since you're not restricting your intake of healthy food and drinks, you have the opportunity to get enough antioxidants, which will also help your metabolism function better. And one way you can do that is by supplementing. One supplement that has plenty of weight loss promoting antioxidants is the Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic. This herbal supplement comes from Okinawa, Japan, a place where people live long lives and are in terrific shape. One woman by the name of Susan Atley shared her experience with the tonic. She used to be obese and she felt that her condition was leading her to an early grave. After seven weeks of continued use, she lost a total of 54 pounds. This may be surprising and if you want to know more about Susan's story in a video, go to the description box below and click on the link provided. So there we have it. Compared to the starvation diet, intermittent fasting done consistently can yield better results. If you like this video, check out the rest of our channel and subscribe so you can catch new videos we upload regularly. Also click the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching!